Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the Cameron's Los Angeles showroom in West Hollywood and I'm here Jacoby Gray with her movie The Aquarium. Let's take a look at a clip. Students will be going on an excursion to the aquarium. The cost is $45. You want to do a job for your old man? It's five bucks in it for you. Jacoby, it's awesome to have you here and congratulations on your film, The Aquarium. Thank you. Um, tell us a brief synopsis of your film. Uh, it's about a young girl who uh, lives in quite um, a poor part of town and she wants to go on a school field trip to the aquarium. Um, and the story unfolds following what she needs to do to get there. Um, Jacoby, it was a really powerful film and I went on such a journey and I, I really just felt so invested in, in the little girl. She was an incredible performance. Um, how did you come about the idea of this film? It was actually a feature film that I'd written a little while ago. So, um, you know that book, How to Write a Screenplay in 21 mm -hmm. Days? Like, I followed that and I wrote this thing and I couldn't even read it. I just put it in a drawer. But I pulled it out a year and a half later and surprisingly there was a kernel. There was a kernel of a story and that became The Aquarium. It's, um, you know, you, you, uh, you covered some particularly difficult, you know, subjects, mm. um, you know, that sort of parental divorce that, that, you know, that happens in a lot of families and, and taking it from her perspective. Um, and then obviously it delves into something quite deep as well. Mm. Um, how did you kind of come about the, the casting, you know, of this film? Well, um, I know the, the actors, the people who played the parents, they're amazing actors who are very well known in Australia. Um, so I was very lucky to secure them. But in terms of casting the lead, the little girl, the 10 year old, um, because of the nature of the material, it was actually quite difficult. And um, we went through a very long and drawn out process uh, where we made the parents feel as comfortable as possible um, and explained how we would shoot the film and how we would take um, Sophie, the lead actress, through the process so that um, everyone felt comfortable that she would be protected. And Sophie just is like, I felt like you just found a, a, a child star. Yes, um, I feel like I have to. Right? She's I, amazing. She's amazing. Yeah. Um, how, how was her experience on set? Well, it, this was actually the first acting that she what? had ever, ever done. Are I, you it was kidding? incredible. Oh my goodness. I know. She, I found her on a website and she came in for her audition and she was, it was like, I, she must have been an actor in a past life. We did an improvisation and she'd completely, um, internalized the entire script and actually flipped around the improvisation so that she was acting out the character according to the character's story. It was really incredible. And then on set, she would just integrate all my notes into her performance, adjust everything. She was, by the end of it, she was telling everyone, oh, that's over there and I need <laughs> you to get this. And yeah, she was fantastic. Oh, brilliant. Um, now, you know, what is it like sort of like how you know obviously you've made this you made this film in australia and then mm -hmm. you, you're coming over here but you're kind of flipping backwards and forwards mm -hmm. right now is that right yeah i'm going where the work is at the moment so i'm currently in post for my third short film which mm -hmm. i was home um just last year shooting mm -hmm. um and then yeah now over here working on my next kind of project yeah fantastic mm. um with with the aquarium kind of like what what did you sort of want the audience to sort of sort of get and understand from this film sort of thing? Do you have any sort of... Well, f for me, primarily, it follows what happens to a child when their parents aren't paying attention. Mm -hmm. So it's how children can so easily become a casualty of their parents' relationship. And I know that I've chosen to follow quite a dark, um, tumultuous relationship. Mm -hmm. And so um, it, it's easy to see why, why she would become a casualty of their relationship. But I think that the same thing can happen um, in, a, in a, a wealthier household where parents are more normal or balanced, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think that people in general um, can still be so involved in what they're going through themselves that they can't see what's happening to their children. I think it's a really important story to share because mm -hmm. I think, like you say, it could sit in many different sort of perspectives or, or backgrounds or anything and, mm -hmm. and you can still get that relation of like, yeah, pay attention to your, to your children and, mm. and what's going on in their worlds and their lives, absolutely. Yeah. 
Um, you had great feedback last night. Um, it was so wonderful um, to see. What, what was it like to have your film that you made in Australia officially selected for New Filmmakers Los Angeles? Oh, it's so exciting. Um, yeah, I mean, LA, Hollywood, it's great yeah, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really exciting to be part of this and just to be part of a night with um, so many other young, talented, up and coming um, filmmakers. I've, it's it's great to be able to um, to meet them and to discover who's out there. I'm already catching up with a few of them for coffees and mm -hmm. it was great, a sort of networking and relationship building experience. And there's an incredible amount of talented uh, f uh, filmmakers that come out of Australia, particularly yes, female is. filmmakers, yes. you know, yeah. which is great. So you must be very proud to be part of this incredible entourage that is in here in Hollywood. Absolutely. The groundswell is, is happening. It's yeah. great. It mm. is. It, it certainly is. Mm. Um, so what's coming next for you? I've actually, well, I'm just finishing off my third short, which is called The Beehive, and mm -hmm. it's based on Andy Warhol and Edie Sedgwick. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I've just transplanted their relationship into the present day, and I'm exploring what would happen if Edie Sedgwick didn't just go off and die of a heroin overdose after she was rejected from the factory, but wow. if she actually took her revenge. Wow, that's mm. fantastic. What would you kind of say? I'm sure there are uh, uh, filmmakers in Australia that would love to make the trip and become a filmmaker in Australia and become a filmmaker in Hollywood. What, mm -hmm. And you have any advice for any filmmakers out there? For me, it's always been about follow your passion and don't compromise on your dreams. I know that is such a no, stereotype. It's, but it, no, but it's... <laughs> That's we, so cliche. No, but oh we need God. to hear it. Yeah, for me, it's just been about um, focusing on what it is that I want and working towards getting it every single day of my life. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> I love that. Um, listen, I... It was such a it was such a, a, gr a great movie, and I, if anyone hasn't watched it, you, you have to see it. It's really powerful, and you have such great talent and vision as a director as well. And we're very excited to see much more of your work. So thank you so much. Thank you.